just did a video today, but I thought if I did a couple more, things would start looking up. <laughs> my name is Chris Legato, and this is my life. I live in the garage. Isn't that neat? I used to have records right on this wall, but they fell. So today, we are going to decorate and clean up the room. So why don't you join me and clean with me? Now saying you have to clean your room because honestly it's kind of a snooze for the most part, at least for me. But I kind of got tired of watching a show over and over and over again. So I think that it's time to do something new. Which I mean, cleaning isn't too much of a new thing. But hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Also, I've been told that I need to clean my room, so. Just to record. <sighs> Pretty much, I work almost every single day, and I love my job. I do. The thing is, I'm always so tired after, and everything just kind of goes everywhere. And it gets a mess after a while. gonna go you know what it's not it's not even fully thick yet so we're gonna okay if it works we're going to put it in my mini fridge which technically you guys are propped up on because I do not have a tripod at the moment so it is what it is right pick up my purses I just did a haul. If you haven't seen that video, you guys can definitely go over there and see that one because that one was fun. It was a little rough. You can barely see me. Hi. It was a little rough, but hey, it has to be sometimes, right? Trial and error, trial and error. Okay, I'm going to see if I can move you guys to another area where you guys can see me better. Let's try right here and you really can't see the mess that I have kind of not really wanted to show the mess but it's fine you know what before yowzas am I right that's all the haul stuff and then we'll get to the after hopefully it won't take too long so we're gonna put my shoes away still technically out of frame but hey that's what's up <laughs> I have a big box because I just moved into here, so I have a big box of all of my fruity type of stuff. So I got your perfumes. Honestly, this one is like one of my favorites, but I think if I can find the other one because I think it's in here. Oh, that's a lot of jewelry. It's not in here. Don't know exactly where it is. Let's see if I can move you guys again. Hold on. Aw, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I really need to get a tripod. This is a very small room, so I don't know how well that's going to work. But, hey. Again, trial and error. Isn't this cute? It smells like chocolate. One of my best friends gave it to me. Her name is Rye. She also has a channel, and I... I just saw it today because I didn't even know she had a YouTube channel. And she asked, what's your YouTube channel thing? And then she subscribed and stuff. And then I noticed and I saw it. And if I wasn't on my phone right now filming, I would look it up for you. But I can't really film at the same time and look stuff up because then it's just going to stop filming. I technically have a camera that works with that type of thing. It doesn't really like to take pictures, but it definitely takes videos. I just don't have a viewfinder on it, so I don't know if I'm in frame all the time. So that's another expense I'll probably have to look into. But right now, I got other things. Like, okay, yesterday, I got out of car wreck. I'm fine. Everybody was fine. Just a little shaken up and probably really sore today. I'm sore. I got um, a bruised collarbone. I got a bruised rib and hip and knee. They're bruised as well. 
but pretty much it wasn't my fault it was this guy in front of me who wasn't paying attention at all i mean the car that was in front of him had his blinker on for i don't know how long and he didn't even notice and then when the car in front of him stopped i guess he just decided to go oh crap and slam on his brakes so i had to slam on my brakes and i had to go off of the road you know that white line you had to go into there so pretty much where you can walk and stuff and i had to like veer to that way so i didn't hit him the next thing I know, smash, it's me, <laughs> you know, so I ended up getting rear-ended and then a car behind the one that rear-ended me got hit and then I got hit again. Don't we love that? Anyways, I took maybe two seconds to put my car in park, got out of the car, ran to see if the guy behind me was okay and he was fine, he was a little shooken up and I mean, I mean, and I went and asked him multiple times because you could obviously tell that he was like, holy shit. <laughs> and so I asked him if he was okay multiple times and he kept reassuring, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then I looked behind him and that's when I saw the other car. The car, the whole front end was just smashed in and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I saw the girl on the side of the road and I was like, oh my, is she okay? You know, so I ran over to her because she's a little bit farther back. And she was fine. She was just really shaken up, like shaking and everything. And I told her that everything was going to be fine. Everybody's okay. I checked with them. We'll get this all figured out. And we, I went to go call her mom. And then her mom was right there. We had two police officers who were, they, they happened to pass just in the right time. But they saw everything happen. So they came. They talked to us. They got out all of our information. And the guy behind me had a suspended license. And he had no insurance. So that's just great right no <laughs> anyways so pretty much what happened was he got a free ride to jail it was pretty bracelets that keep you together you know honestly i do not know how um handcuffs feel but i do know that you need lotion after them because they rub your wrists raw how i know that i got some pretty idiotic friends <laughs> we love when my tv turns off i mean i'm not watching anything so it's not like i need my tv on but hey it's always nice i'm a fire stick which i love absolutely like just dearly so pretty much i can watch anything i can go on to disney plus i can go on to hulu netflix youtube all that fun stuff and it's just great because i mean yes you have to have a subscription to some of them but it's worth it it at least gives you the choice of actually watching the stuff on there i have no idea what to talk about was this a good idea to film yeah um, I would love a hair tie right now because my hair keeps poking me in the eye, but I don't know where any of my hair ties are at the moment, but hey, you gotta work with what you gotta work with. Let's see. Um, no, maybe up here, oh wait, what? Hair tie. I mean, it's purple, but it's whatever, it works. I am a natural brulette, brulette, <laughs> brunette, I'm a natural brunette and I've dyed my hair I think a million times now and this last time when I bleached my hair, my hair got really damaged and so I've been taking a break and stuff but I so want to go this like purple-ish maroon color and then I want to get um, a perm because I miss my curly hair and it's no longer cur curly because when I've cut like all of my hair off. I used to have hair like all the way down to my butt. It was super long. And um, I miss my long hair and my curly hair, but right now I have it short so it can grow back all healthy and everything. Shoelaces. Shoelaces are good for shoes and belts. You can just tie them, the two different shoelaces together and you can just tie around your waist and then boom. 
makeshift belt. Alright, that box is pretty much empty. All it's got is some costume jewelry in it. I don't want the costume jewelry. <laughs> and now I'm going to get behind my books on this shelf and get the records that are in If I can find them. Huh. Found one. Oh, by the way, I paint records and stuff, but I don't paint like new ones or things that are ones that are, that are in good condition because honestly, that's just a waste of good music. Sometimes okay music. Sometimes just kind of like raunchy music. Oh, why isn't it coming? Kind of like... I don't want to move this. It is hot in here. But hey good quality audio or like semi-quality audio because you know that's probably what this is all the tape that's what it is aha this one's just a plain one i just like the clouds that were in the middle of it but for now it'll work here we go found the other one okay let me move my nora robert books nora roberts could good book writer i also wrote a book has i have not published it yet but honestly i'm kind of on the fence of publishing it because you know i didn't really write it to publish or anything like that i wrote it more on the sake of just just writing to be honest i mean me and a couple friends back in middle school and all that we decided that we wanted to write a book or like a story short story on some pretty heavy topics things that we were against or wish we knew more about so we can help them but you know it didn't really work out for a lot of them but a couple of us actually finished our books i finished mine around the end of senior year it's called saving hope it's about physical abuse and stuff and just her journey through it and it, i honestly i love it it's like what it's like my little like makeshift ab or whatever it is so warm in here i would move the fan but i feel like the closer it gets to my phone the worse the audio is gonna get because i look i was watching my old like my just my very first video i watched and i was like i don't know if i'm weird for watching my own videos but Maybe I am, maybe I'm not, I don't know. But anyways, I was watching it and I could hear the fan in the back and honestly, it was annoying me. But I really didn't want to refilm it. <laughs> because that was a long process. It's a 24 minute video. It's a haul. It's on, um, it's a haul of all sorts of Goodwills and then an online brand that I yawned. An online brand that I shopped at because I wanted to get an honest review to you guys and I wanted to see the quality and everything but you have to check it out I think it's all right it's not too bad like I said it's a little rough probably like this one this one's probably a little rough too and I promise I'm gonna get better videos out like taking videos of like lake days and hanging with some friends and stuff like that and then drive with me's possibly don't know yet about that one but yeah all right time to put the books back one two three i have a i don't think i have a lot of books i think i have like a small collection i used to have a lot more but i was um donating a lot of them because well i read them like a good chunk of time and i was like you know what at this point i've read these all i need to get some new books i don't really have a lot of storage space for all of these and get more so i just decided that why not haha <laughs> i made a funny noise i didn't do it again rude huh did it Anyways, but I, I like to go to a lot of the libraries and check out of the, check out books and then at the same time we have this library where 
it's pretty much you can't check them out you have to buy them so i guess you could say it's a bookshop and then i went to the dollar store a couple times because the dollar store sells books here and i found i think i think it's just two honestly that i found that were actually good um one of them was they come in all colors and the other one is baseball cup i had to look at it to see but yeah no and then uh, i like them they're pretty good i mean there's definitely better books out there but okay it was a good story i mean it had a nice baseline and stuff let me get this in here oh this is my sketchbook here hold on Alrighty, this is my sketchbook. Well, one of them. I watch Supernatural. I love Supernatural. It's so amazing. And I can't believe it finally ended. And this is technically the Impala. And then obviously I did a little like makeshift stuff. And then 15 seasons, Heaven, Hell, Idgits, Balls, and Hey Ass Butts. And I'll, some of these are mediocre. And then I have some loose pages. I think they're in the, yeah, they're in the back. I got this guy. A lot of these are fast sketches and some art were unsavable. This one, this was when I was in high school. I was doing a lot of my English work and then I was finished. And then I wanted to kind of do like a uh, Dear John in the back and then something in the middle. And I decided to do like a melting candle, but it's a face. It's a little wonky, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I think if I can read it. I fought for you. I lived for you. Your freedom is my reward and my peace. So now, oh, so don't be something because it was all, I have no idea. Can't even read it. It's like small smudge cursive. And then somewhere around there, it's an, it starts as a dear John. Thank you for all that is lovely. I'm no longer suffering. Something like that. I don't know. But we got a blank page. Oh, shoot. It's on this side. Then we got this one. I love this one. I like how the shading kind of makes it like look like it has some depth. This is a very fast sketch. Hey, girly lesbian. And then some stuff for... I got all the names of um, a team that I was on and stuff. And we made bracelets. Well, me and my friend who was also on the team. And then we surprised them with, you know, the beaded ones. Like, the, they look very kiddish. But apparently they're in now. So, hey. Yeah. So then we got this. It's just... A butterfly with the skull. It's unfinished. I don't think I'll ever actually finish it. And then we got sick goth tomboy lesbian. I don't know. Try to. Silly face. Fast sketch. Always turns out messy. Then this really fast sketch. And then put don't know how I feel. This is another try to. And then yeah. This was just. I don't even know. Oh, This was my friend Kaylee. She did this. She says love me or forget me. And then a spider. I don't know. I, I guess I felt like scribbling. And then this is a lion that I made out of five, which is pretty easy. And I'll show you guys sometime. I don't have any utensils to actually draw at the moment in my this room. I used to live. I used to live in the house, and now I live out here. But yeah. Okay. Back to the sketchbook. This is a really fast sketch. I, don't, I never finished it. It's like a little girl in a messenger bottle. It's greedy. Really, really bad. Bad, 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 bad sketch. Now I feel bad because it was my friend Callie's. Oops. Sorry, Callie. Thought it was mine because I did something kind of like that. <laughs> Oops. Just like trashed my friend's drawing. It's fine. She's better now at drawing. And then, I don't know if you can tell who this is. Like, the face. 
But, I don't know. I was doing, like, some weird drawings at school. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Oh, this one's mine. It's just very unproportionate, and that's just not how a body really works. So, I think that was the problem. And then... These took a little longer, but they're still fast sketching. And then body sketch with water shading. And then I did some designs of some clothes. Which I used to do when, a lot when I was really little. and I don't know, I guess I was feeling it again. But, by the way, if any of these look really familiar, I take Pinterest like drawings and I kind of do my own little creation of them. Just as um, a reference. And then there, here's this one. I don't know. I really like how the structure came out and everything of the face. But I feel like it's a little flat. And then, <laughs> got bored. Maybe this get finished. Maybe not. <laughs> you love the horrible grammar, right? We don't. And here's some ballerina ones. I love this one that I did. I think that one is the best out of all three of these and then my guy face <laughs> the hand is you yes it is yes it is this was back in 2019 how oh, so long ago and then here's this one um it's a blue hue it's a woman's face and then i don't even know don't even ask this was 2020 the thing is, with drawing, at least for me, if I don't draw in a while, I kind of, like, lose all of my artistic, like, ability, I feel like. And then when I get back into it, I get better. And then this was, like, a sleeve idea one of my friends wanted. And then I kind of just scratched on it and redid it again. Now she has, like, a loose paper version. And then, I guess, another fast sketch for it. And then another I'm bored type of thing. And then here's this one. Here's a pink hue. See? Pinterest inspired. 2020. Isn't it cute? I don't know. I like it. And here's another guy one. This was 2020. Muscular man. Water, sh water shading. Don't know how I feel about it. And then here's this one. Another Pinterest inspired. And then this is a like selfie thing of like, I don't know based on drawing of my friend her name's skylar and then it says reference from instagram photo and these are the colors that i used her face got a little beat up and everything when i was going back in over and over again with the color trying to make it match as, as best as i could and it just didn't end up working the way i wanted it to and then another unfinished fast sketch and then this one, oh my god, this one took so freaking long. I had to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. There's a lot of dust in this room. I have the dust and stuff. Decaying monster thingy. And then here's this one. Another Pinterest inspired. 2020. Unfinished dog. I ended up putting this actually on a canvas. And it looked a lot better than it does right here. This looks like a, a mushroom wiener dog foxy like fox i don't even know like elf looking mix of something and then i tried again and then again <laughs> and then i don't even know definitely do not know how i feel about it but i honestly now i don't really like this one but it's from 2020 and i think the rest is and eh, no, we apparently have more Right, so here's one, and it was, it's like half regular school, half demon school. It was a very fast sketch, and then I ended up finishing it and gave it to my brother. He's going to get it on his calf, I think he said. And then, I don't know where all my, what is, oh, I put him over here. Hold on, let me close the sketchbook. It's kind of falling apart at the moment. Oh, there's some more. Okay. This is another Pinterest inspired. This is 2019. Here's another one that's pin. I think all these are Pinterest inspired. That the loose paper. You got this guy. So I'm not taking full credit for this, but I did draw them at least. But 
definitely took off of a lot of Pinterest stuff. I wish I still had the handles of these guys because these guys are so good when I was looking at them. And it's the reason why I wanted to try to recreate my version of it. And then there's this guy. There's this one. And then I did a little cringy thing. But streams are made to be broken only to learn to make it happen. Then we got this one. And then this one. I hate how I outlined the hairline. It's so bad. And we got this one that was a major mess up on the body. I should have kept it just neck length. But I didn't. And I wanted, was like, oh, well, let's put, like, a shawl on. And then I messed up and I put, I was like, you know what? Let's just scribble something in. We got this one. And this one. And this one. This one, sadly, was um there was I, I was doing my nails and I had my art stuff right by me and I was getting all the nail polish off and then I accidentally knocked over the nail polish remover and it got all over that one and then I got this one again all these are pretty much Instagram inspired and then you can tell I still suck at hands still suck at hands it's really fat and it is there five fingers? There's five fingers. Okay, cool. I was like, did I really mess that up? This one was turning out really cute, and then I went to do the eyes, and I just messed up so bad. And then, wait for me. Biggie! <laughs> and then we got this guy. This one, it was great as a non-colored sketch and then I messed it up and then I did the background and then it just it all went downhill after I started to color it this one's unfinished oh here's it here's one of the tattoos it's from my friend Maya that was done in 2020 and then we got we got these hands I think I did a little better and then we got this guy hell yeah all right probably gonna take a while to edit because I've been Pausing the videos and another video and then pausing it again and doing another video and then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is going to be a fun editing thing. So if this is choppy, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, but drawing is not one major thing that I love and then photography is another. I have so many, oh my gosh, my nose itches. I have so many photography photos and stuff like that. I really wish there was, a, this, there was a better place to put this. There really isn't. I don't really have a lot of storage space in this room. I bet you saw when I was showing you the before of my room, you saw the big armoire thing that has a guitar in it. I don't know if you, I, I was able to fully show that. Cause it not, did not pause the video and make another video type of thing. So, um, but yeah, there's that, but that's my, technically my grandma's. So. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's set you up here. We got some Shein bags. Definitely gonna reuse these. Either for gifting or for storage and stuff like that. But hey, for right now, they're gonna get, be put up. Because it's plastic, you gotta either reuse or recycle. I need to get a gar Ooh, I need to get a oh I was about to say I need to get a garbage bag in here. Found one. Because again, got a lot of trash. I know, I know. But you got your typical teenager, am I right? Throw this away. Ooh, I can show you some of my record art. That that'd be pretty cool. So I got stuff on the walls, and then I have these guys. I was selling them, but that didn't really go over well. I didn't really get a lot of people who wanted them. But yeah, I was selling them for like a dollar. There's this one. There's this one. There's this one. I like this one. It's like space, and then it's like like you're in space, and then you have the real sky. And then my mom was like, well, why don't you set it out to dry? Well, it was like almost 100 degrees, and it kind of melted. But it gave it character. 
At least that's what my mom says. <laughs> we got this one. I hate these things. The black, like the black little tentacle things that I did around it. I really wish I didn't do that, but too late now. We got this one. I think this one's one of my favorites. My mom has a couple of my favorites hanging up in her office at work. We got this one. And this one. And this one. Another one of my favorites. And this one. I don't really know what I was trying to... I think... Yeah, I mean, I know I was trying to do flowers, but they just did not turn out the best. We got this one. And we got Disneyland, which I've never been. I have never been to Disneyland. I've always wanted to go. I think when I was really little, I got invited to go to Disneyland with some friends. But since I was really little and I was going to be going with them and my parents couldn't come, they were really skeptical on it. Because, you know, I'm the kid and whatnot. They wanted to keep me safe. I was also a very clumsy kid, so if I got hurt, I'd be all the way at Disneyland, and they'd be all the way here, and it just wouldn't work out. Okay, next. You know, I really wish we could have music playing in the background without it being copyrighted. I mean, I get why ugh, we do that, and, like YouTube does that and stuff. But at the same time, it just makes the video so much better when you have music. Because then you can jam out and also have fun doing whatever you're doing. Alrighty. By the way, I'm only 18. Oh my gosh, I keep knocking over the camera. Nope, don't work. No, not really. I do need to close that door, though. Um, I guess just set it back up and to hope it doesn't fall again. But yeah, like I said, I'm only 18. And honestly, I could move out if I had the money to. Right now, I don't have the money. I, I do things around the house and I help with food and stuff at my house instead of paying rent which i get i guess yeah you know what i'm kind of spoiled we do go out shopping quite a bit but at the same time i'm very grateful for everything that i've gotten from my parents and stuff so these guys i have extra records in a laundry basket right now and i have to move some clothes and so yeah I'm moving them into a laundry basket. Those are some spandex shorts, I promise. And I have more records in this with all my paint. I don't have a shoe rack in here yet. Oh, for my other video, I said I had a purse that I used pretty much on my everyday life. Oh, my watch fell off. Doing my, for like my everyday type of thing. But my great great grandma made it. And my grandma now right who's living with us she gave it to me and i was using it as my everyday purse but at the same time i really just don't want to ruin it let me take this out and then i have a whole bunch of i have like polaroid film in here pretty much like polaroid film and gum I love gum and then some broken ish sandals. I mean, like, they're not fully broken, but they're like falling apart. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to get the sunscreen out of here. And then what's in here? Socks from Lake Day. If I had not started the channel yet, or I probably would have filmed sunscreen. A swimmer's best friend. That and a swimming cap, but I don't wear those because I'm not like a professional swimmer. Then we got some tangled lights that I haven't put up yet, and then we got some bigger lights as well. I think these are the ones that like come down, and then the other ones are just regular fairy lights. 
So we'll put those up there. Honestly, all I need to do is just put away clothes at this point. And I sh I'll try showing that process, but at the same time, like I said, don't really got the best setup in the whole wide world. So what we're gonna do is I'll just put away clothes and be off camera for a couple minutes. Oh, here's some more. Um, <laughs> my friend made me that one in the middle. It's goofy. You're in some adult stuff. I personally, I don't do. I don't know. I don't really like the smell of it, and I don't really like. It just stinks up a room. I guess you could say. And it's so hard to get it out of a room because the person who lived in this room before, which was a family member, that person did it a lot. I mean, like, a lot, a lot. And it was so hard to get it out of this room. I mean, I had a candle lit all the time. And my window was open. Luckily, it was in the summer because it just made things a lot better. Because then I was getting some fresh air in here. And then at the same time, I, I'm getting really close to the camera. But at the same time, I was getting cold air. I guess cold air coming in or whatever. And then my swimsuit that I just got, which you can see on the hall. I did try on a few clothes and stuff like that, but there's a lot of clothes that I hadn't. Because it was taking up a lot of time. And to be honest, I was already at like the 24 minute mark. And if I went any longer, I feel like people wouldn't keep watching. I guess I could have done a welcome to the channel video. Like, welcome to the channel, blah, blah, blah. Talk about stuff about my life. But at the same time, don't really know what to talk about. I have that problem. I I know how to keep a conversation, but starting a conversation is absolutely hard. I guess you could blame it on COVID or whatever with the quarantine and stuff and just not being around people a lot. But for me, honestly, I've always been like that. I guess you could say it got worse, but it's just something you gotta push through. At least for me, that's all it is. Also, all my friends work, so I don't really get to hang out with a lot of my friends. That are really busy with sports and stuff like that. Which I play some sports, I play slow pitch for my church that I go to. But I used to play fast pitch. Almost every single day and every weekend, I was doing fast pitch. <laughs> and I loved it. I love fast pitch. It's one of the, like, I have a lot of fond memories through fast pitch and stuff like that. But I got injured enough times and ended up making the hard, hard, difficult decision of calling, calling it final. So I finished the season and stop playing after that. I mean, would I ever go back and play fast, like actual fast, fast pitch? Probably. I don't see me not playing it again, but I don't know, probably not as much as I was before. That's why I'm kind of glad that I have um, slow pitch to do, because that is a lot of fun. And it's a co-ed thing, so we have men playing and women playing. And then there's a men's league where you there you can have at least up to two women playing on the men's league. And then, um, I think we have three teams. I think we have two co-ed teams and then a men's league. We play on Tuesdays. Right now, we are tied for first. So the people that beat us, we beat them in the next game because you at least play them twice. Unless you're in a situation like us, if they keep what keep going at the rate that they are and we keep going at the rate that we are with winning and everything, then we'll probably play them a third time for the championship. My tanning stuff because a girl burns and likes to be tan. Which actually this is a pretty good br brand. It is a Walmart brand, but it is pretty good. It's called Tan Day F 
I got not I guess it says the darkest but there is another level above it and you got to put kind of a thick layer but not super thick because if you do that then it's all streaky and you're not very orange unless you do it over and over and over and over again without periods of break between because if you do the without any breaks between and you just keep going you're gonna end up turning orange and nobody wants to be orange from tanning and stuff like that it's just from at least it's not a look for me <laughs> it can be a look for other people but me in particular not really and this is a fast cleanup i'm probably not gonna it's not gonna be perfect today but I will finish it fully someday hence on the word some <laughs> then I got my makeup area because I like to do makeup and I always wanted to get into um, like the horror type of makeup horror type of makeup <laughs> so special effects makeup and stuff like that but I'm Wanting to learn the baseline of it all, so pretty much get the shading and stuff down with the eyeshadow and all that. I mean, I did a few, um, like, I guess you could say face paint makeup in a way. Um, we did, me and my friend did a pride purge. I'm, I am part of the LGBTQ, I'm the B in it, I'm bisexual. Um, and we did the pride purge because that Monday they were going in working out pretty much discussing whether in the wash like washington state if gay marriage was allowed like if they're going to take about the rights away or not and it was our own little type of protest in a way saying hey we're here we have a voice we're just like everybody else we should be able to love the people that we love please don't come at me if you disagree with that because I really don't want arguments happening over it um because people are allowed to believe in what they believe in and do all that type of stuff it's just it's it's frustrating it is because if you know my soulmate ended up being a woman and we couldn't get married in Washington State we definitely would go somewhere where we could definitely and I just feel like everybody should be able to have that right now, do I feel like some measures have been taking a little take it have been taken a little far in some like some areas, not just for the LGBTQ, for mul but for multiple big, I guess you could say controversy things that have been happening over the past couple to actually for a while now. I mean, all throughout history, there's been a lot of things, and there's been some stuff that people have done that are just absolutely. It's not really like crossing a line because there really is no actual line, but metaphorically, I guess there's a line to where you go too far. And I feel like sometimes people do take it that far. And I mean, you know what? They're trying to, they're trying to live their life and get, be heard on what they believe in. And so in a way, I guess it's okay. But at the same time, some things that people do is a little wrong. Done with that talk because... I think we've heard a lot about that stuff over the past, at least for now, the past couple years. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. So we did the Pride Purge, and so we had, like, the um, the Pride flag colors on our face, and then we did the, you know, the regular Purge, like, smile in a way, and the crosses over the eyes. I put glitter in my eyebrows. I swear I still find glitter in my eyebrows today and that was all the way back in October so whoa but honestly I feel like water is glued to glitter and then okay so I'm kind of going all over the place and rambling on about all different things while in the middle of trying to explain one thing welcome to my mind <laughs> um but no uh then another thing I did I did a uh clown and it's pretty much just your basic every all different types of sorts and stuff like that okay i need to get my laundry all in like one area like both of the baskets because i feel like that's just organized in a way 
I'm wanting to get a new carpet. I don't know what kind of color I want because I don't know if I want just, you know, your regular basic, you know, tan. Or if I want to do like a cool design on it or whatnot. That or I might just keep this carpet because it's not too bad. I just got a couple stains on it. But that happens throughout, I don't know, living in it for so long. Like multiple people going through it, through living through all of this and stuff. But at the same time, it kind of sucks having stains. So I might get a really cool, um, like, it's not carpet, it's a rug. Not the word. I might get a really cool rug for it in the end. Is it bad that I want to wear shorts and one of my oversized tees? I just don't want to make it look like I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Because I feel like that's just kind of awkward. It's cute, but awkward. At least for me. Another thing I like to do, I love to sing and dance. Am I a good dancer? No. Am I a good singer? I like to believe so. I've been told that I'm pretty good by other people. But I don't know if they're just being nice or if they actually mean it. <laughs> That made me sound really sad. Um, <laughs> I promise I'm not sad. It's just the truth. Okay, I'm lighting a candle. It's not that it stinks in here, I just like having a candle going. Although, I have to, I always make sure that I remember to, to blow it out when I leave my room. There's fire hazard. <laughs> Alrighty, I think right now we're good i do need to get the records up back up on my walls soon and then also i need to fix my led lights because a lot of them have fallen but i also did i did them wrong well not really wrong but i kind of spaced them just enough where it's too far to connect and so they always keep falling and stuff and i'll probably have one of my guy friends help me not saying that the my my gal friends can't do it, but... I mean, if they'd like to help, totally, that'd be so much fun. You know what? I'll ask around. I'll see if all, any of my friends will help me. We just have to get it to where we're both off and not working, which is hard, especially since a lot of us don't really work at the same place. But for now, I'm going to take out my trash. By the way, YouTube, it takes a while to upload things. Like it says it's downloading and then it takes so long to process. Okay. Walking out with no shoes. Boom. I guess I'll show you the aftermath. Like I said, not perfect, but I got a lot of the laundry. I got all the laundry off the floor and I just need to make my bed and organized but thank you for watching and here we go thanks for watching hope you subscribe and hit the notification notific notification bell to keep up with all my new videos i need to clean my mirror it's pretty messy but thanks for watching bye